last doll hunting video, we took a trip to Tuesday morning, looking for signature Barbies at a discounted price. And we found two from the Gold Label Collection, Luciana Barbie doll from the Global Glamour Collection, and Selma Dupart James from the Harlem Theater Collection. Tuesday morning is fabulous because you can find Barbie dolls that you wouldn't normally see in the toy store and pay less than the suggested retail price. Luciana has a suggested retail price of $100, but we got her for $49.99. That's half off! Selma has a suggested retail price of $85, but we got her for $29.99. More than half off! I do love a deal! Let's get them out of the box for a closer look! Not my most graceful unboxing! A spider jumped out of the packaging to say hello! And I ran the other way! Ah! I had to call for help because spiders and I are not the best of friends. It was quite the scene! At Tuesday mornings, you will find toys that have been out for a while. So I guess the occasional creepy crawly might decide to move in. But this has never happened to me before. <laughs> and it would happen on camera. Go figure! I'm not going to pretend that I'm not a little apprehensive about opening the second doll box. There's a lot of space right there. Okay, I can do this, but not on camera. Yay! We did it! Out of the box, Selma has a short haircut with bangs, a pearl necklace that was not designed to be removed, with a silver pendant in the front. She wears a long purple dress, that flares at the bottom and has lace details. There is lace at the top of the dress. It closes in the back with snaps. She has white satin gloves and silver shoes. She comes with a certificate of authenticity and a dollhouse painting, which is a really fun accessory. The painting is a print on paper and it just slides into the back of the frame. She has movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. But check that out! Those are made-to-move knees, but not made-to-move elbows. Ah! I would have loved if this was a made-to-move body! Ugh. Her face sculpt looks just like the Puma Barbie, only her eyes are painted much smaller. And personally, I prefer the smaller eyes. Let's take a look at Luciana from the Global Glamour Collection. She has all this hair. It's curly. It has two different colors. I love it. She comes with a large headdress, long earrings that can be removed, lots of matching accessories, a crystal bodysuit, and a full eyelet skirt. It has two layers and gathering at the top. She finishes her look with silver crystal shoes. She has articulation at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Comes with a certificate of authenticity, and both dolls come with doll stands. I absolutely love their face sculpts, and it's nice that they're articulated, but I want more. Like the ultimate posable Barbie doll, made to move Barbie. I think she's a good match for this made to move yoga Barbie. And maybe we can match Luciana with the Barbie soccer player. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. Oh, wait. This is sewn into her hair. Okay, now we can do that off with your head thing. <laughs> They turned out pretty good. Her hair had a lot of product in it. I tried to wash it out a few times with some hot water, but there's still some in there. It might take a few more washes. Now, let's find these girls something to wear. 
from Barbie's Endless Closet. We found new fashion packs at Walmart. Each one comes with two outfits and two accessories to mix and match. Let's try this one first. Selma is wearing a loose fit animal print dress with a v-neck and collar, a faux denim ruffle around the bottom, and a pink purse. Luciana is wearing a black shirt with faux leather sleeves. It says girl power on the front, paired with a faux leather black and white skirt with a ruffle down the front, and a pair of sunglasses. And that is the new look from our animal print collection. Give our models a hand, everyone. But wait, there's more. The next look will have you seeing stars. A faux denim crop jacket with silver buttons and black stars, a white skirt with a ruffle, and a black handbag. The jacket does not stay closed on its own. We helped it out with a little bit of tape. Selma is wearing a blue and white top that ties in the front with a layered pink star skirt and a metallic necklace. Thank you, ladies. You are fabulous. I playfully call the next collection Water Lilies in Spring. Luciana is wearing a two-tone summer dress with polka dots and flowers. There is black polka dot ribbon around the waist and she carries a simple yellow purse. Selma is wearing a faux denim shirt that is off the shoulder with ruffles, a pair of black and white shorts, and some white trimmed sunglasses. Fabulous, simply fabulous. And now, our last collection for tonight. We have Selma wearing a gray polar bear t-shirt with white stitching around the collar, a red plaid skirt, and a pearly white purse. Luciana is modeling a black and white dress with flowers, a lavender t-shirt with ruffles at the sleeves, and a red headband. And that's our fashion show. I think the polar bear shirt and red skirt is a good look for Selma. And we gave Luciana the white and blue top with the white ruffled skirt. I absolutely love my two new models. And I will definitely search Tuesday morning for more signature Barbies. Even if I have to make friends with a few spiders. Ah! Thank you for joining us while we made Made to Move signature Barbies and had fun with a little fashion. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time for another unbox daily and that's our collection for now